We got George Kittle here. You know, one of the best tight ends in the league. Probably top three, honestly, with Travis Kelsey and Mark Andrews. And we have yet to see him really blow up this season. But in this video, we're going to see what would happen if George Kittle and Travis Kelsey, them two were to switch teams and play for each other's teams and see how they would perform. And if George Kittle's numbers would go up and if Travis Kelsey's numbers would stay the same. So we got Travis Kelsey, he wearing number 87. You know, he's the highest overall player on the Niners. And, you know, looks pretty normal in his threads, can't lie. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look too bad, actually. And George Kittle in his threads here doesn't look bad either. It's like, it's almost as if, like, both teams are missing these guys. They're going to do the same thing. But the thing with George Kittle, though, he's definitely the best run blocker in the league or one of the best run blockers in the league. So that's going to be needed greatly for that Chiefs offense if they want to run the ball. But he has a high ankle sprain, but he'll be back. But we're going to see how they perform. I checked the schedule already. They don't play each other this season. So the best bet is hoping to see if, they, um, if they're both, uh, you know, in the playoffs. Middle of the season, Niners are 6-1. and one. If you look at the division, Cardinals and Rams are both 1-6. and six, So they're, they're, they're struggling bad. But 6-1 and one is kind of not surprising for this Niners squad as they're one of the best teams in the league, of course. Patrick Mahomes is still doing pretty well. He has 18 touchdowns, 1,800 yards. So it looks like George Kittle is probably getting his numbers right. But Brock Purdy, 12 touchdowns, 4 picks, not bad. Travis Kelsey is actually not doing much of anything. So, huh. That's actually very shocking. Maybe it's because of the offense. But George Kittle is also not doing well either. 13 catches, 152 yards, 1 touchdown. Okay, so it looks like the tight end's positions aren't uh, aren't respected right now. Okay, kind of kind of shocked by that. But we're facing the four and two Bengals, six and one. Uh, the Chiefs are also the Chiefs are five and two, so similar records. Okay, and um, all right, let's go to the playoffs now. Wow. So after the Niners were six and one, Niners were six and one. After that, they went two and two and eight. Still made the playoffs, winning the division. We're facing the Eagles, while Chiefs were the number one seed. How did that just happen? How did that? Uh, how did everything just go wrong from that? That's what I mean about simulation. It just doesn't make any sense. But Patrick Mahomes led the league with 4,700 passing yards. Probably led the league in touchdowns as well. And our offense finished 26. Brock Purdy didn't have too good of a season, but defense was probably pretty good. No, it actually wasn't either. So. Very interesting. Travis Kelsey only had 47 catches, 458 yards, and three touchdowns. I'm shocked. I'm actually very shocked. George Kittle had 1,000 yards, 89 catches, nine touchdowns. So it seems like the Niners are not suited for tight end play, and it's more for um, the Chiefs that have the, that tight end play. So George Kittle would do pretty well in that Chiefs system. But nonetheless, we still made the playoffs. We're facing the Eagles. Brock Purdy has a tall task out of him facing the Eagles. But the Eagles weren't even the first seed, actually, because they're in the wild card. So that means that the first seed went to the Cowboys. This, oh, man, this is tough. <laughs> this is looking tough. But, okay. Uh, let's see Travis Kelsey in those uh, Niner threads. Niner's defense was getting exposed, but we have a third and ten here. I want to see if we can hit Travis Kelsey here. I don't even know what route he's running. But I'm throwing it to him. Travis Kelsey drops the ball. Wow. He drops it in double covered. I thought he would get that. Big field goal kick, let Jake Moody have it, but Jake Moody missed, so that's great. Now we're down 17-0. Offense is going down the field. Let's step in here, see if we can maybe hit someone. Uh, Travis Kelsey is now out of the game. Um, whoa. Medical center, hello? Okay, those injuries make sense, but why? What are we doing here? You see? I see what Madden's doing. I'm catching on to the glitch. Chris, Where are they, though? Why are the backups in? Oh, no. Chris McGaffrey's there, so... Okay. Christian, does he pick up the first down? No. Fourth and inches. Let me play it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let me definitely play it. Fourth and inches. We need this. Where is Kelsey, bro? Like, I don't understand. Why is Kelsey not in the game? Christian McCaffrey picks up the first down. Hold on. Do we have to call a play for Kelsey? Because, yeah, this glitch is getting out of hand, bro. Another field goal kick. We got the ball. We're we're going down right now. Where is Kelsey? Can I play her? Yeah, like, let's choose. Oh, look at that. They don't even call the plays. Whoa. I can't. Wow. That's actually wild. It's actually glitched. This is insane. This is actually insane. I don't like this glitch at all. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. 
Christian McCaffrey, you're going to have to save the day for us. Good tack, like good breaking tackle animation. Oh my, so it's like after the first quarter, it's like they get benched. It's like the preseason glitch. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so whack. That's so whack, bro. We can't even we can't even have fun with this anymore because this glitch is happening. Oh, that's wide open. That's a touchdown. Elijah Mitchell, dime, but it shouldn't even be Elijah Mitchell in the game. But that was a great play. But we're pretty much gonna lose this. We lo we lose our starters pretty much. If I even try to call a play for Kelsey, it's not gonna work. So, wow, that's actually very very annoying. But we have a fourth and six. See if we can get anything here. Brock Purdy has the backups in. Oh, wide open. Ronnie Bell. Great catch. First down. Okay, still playing a good game, but... Uh, gotta love simulation sometimes. We scored that. We're still gonna lose, pretty much, but... I'm not even gonna attempt the onside, because I suck at those. Big third down, make the stop. So we ended up losing by seven. We didn't have our starters, and the game robbed us. Let's see how the Chiefs do, though. The Chiefs are obviously still in the playoffs. They're facing the Ravens. So let's see. Let's see if they take it. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, they probably will because they don't get the glitch that we get. So we advance to the next week and playoff bracket shows that Chiefs are now in the conference championship and it's Falcons, Eagles on the other side. And uh, as we, um, I mean, I don't even think Travis Kelsey is going to make the Pro Bowl either. So Super Bowl is not Eagles, Bengals. Wow. So it looks like. The Chiefs got stopped short. Patrick Mahomes made the Pro Bowl. Brock Purdy did not. Receivers, tight end George Kittle did. Obviously, Travis Kelsey would not. So George Kittle had a better season. He had, He's in a better situation. And he doesn't get subbed out in playoff time. <laughs> but, okay. So there we have it. George Kittle would flourish in that Chiefs system. And Travis Kelsey wouldn't even get that many targets.